Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Dippery Studios, the show where I teach you the ins and outs of filmmaking. Today we're going to be taking a look at this amazing floating effect and how you can create it yourself inside of After Effects. So step one is to go outside. In this case, I'm going to be going on my balcony. And for best results, just kind of find something with kind of soft lighting, not any harsh shadows. That'll really kind of just mess up your footage if there's harsh shadows everywhere because later when you mask stuff out, it's not going to match properly. So anyway, you're going to sit up on the stool and take a picture of yourself sitting there cross-legged and try to cover up most of the top of the stool with your legs. And also, make sure to move yourself and the stool out of the frame so you can take a clean plate with your camera. All right, so now that we're in After Effects, we can stack our clean plate and the photo of me on the stool on top of each other. And now all we're going to do is create a mask around the upper portion of me, but we're going to leave out the stool. That way we don't see it. And now we can add a little bit of feather to the mask, and there you go. You are done. Oh man, this stool is not good quality. <gasps> but you know what is good quality? Dippery Studios merch. So be sure to head on over to teespring.com slash stores slash Dippery Studios right here or click on the first link in the description below. And also, if you want to buy the camera, the Lumix G5, which you are seeing footage from right now, um, make sure to head down to where you see that little Amazon link heading to it. And you can help me out whenever you buy it. Um, if you don't want to spend any money, then the least you could do is subscribe, ring the bell for notifications every time a new video comes out. Alright, so let's get back to, you know, the meat. The meaty stuff. As long as you sit still, then you won't need to make any kind of rotoscoping changes at all. Anyway, that's it. It's been great showing you how to do this, and I will see you next time on Dipper Studios.